All right, welcome back to the Untalked Podcast. We've got some special guests in the building. I yes. See the, yeah, yeah, see the two of you What's hanging happening? out. Appreciate the time, guys. Thanks for joining us. Oh. Yeah, thank you for actually having us here. We truly appreciate um, having us on. Um, so thank you. Shout out. I'm so excited to be here today. Yeah, good. appreciate you for having us. It's all good. It's been a long time coming, sir. Yeah, it's been a long time. And why am I the only one that doesn't have any hair here? Are you supposed to be at least, I don't know, receding or something? Oh, oh wait, hey, wait, hey, wait, hey, wait hey, brother. Now. I'm Trust sitting me. still. It ain't as strong as it used to be, but it's it's uh, holding on like LTD. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, uh -huh. it's barely holding on. Let me just say that. Chris and I go back and forth about that a uh -huh. lot. So. I tell him, just go ahead and just cut it on off, brother. Just cut it on be, off. Be, be, so, yeah. it's, it's, called, it's very thin. Right. It's called the Bald, Bald Brothers Coalition. Right. Be, 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 I, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to delay my entry to the club. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and every every time we say something, she leaned back. So that must mean all the thinness is back here in the back section. Speaking, speaking, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. That's all right. We'll just go back and look at this footage, and you'll see her leaning back. You'd be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> We're in the day in the age of filters. I'll just filter something oh, on up here. You know, I, I can do that. Oh my gosh, that's funny. You know. <laughs> yeah. But nonetheless, yeah, thank you guys for joining us. I certainly appreciate the time. Although I know you guys uh, and have known you guys for quite some time, I'll let you uh, have the floor to, to tell the party people a little bit about yourselves, a little bit about what you do. Well, my name is Chris Strickland. One half of the duo here, the dy dynamic duo. That's right. <laughs> Team Strickland. Team Strickland, yeah, that's what we like to call it. Right. I, have, you know, I have a background in radio and television broadcast. Mm -hmm. I went to Central State. Before that, I went to Career Center for Radio and Television Broadcast. You know, how I make my money is a, you know, I'm an IT contractor. Okay. You know, I, I work uh, for different IT companies, do different things. Who mm -hmm. got you in IT? And yeah, I'm going to get that. Okay. <laughs> We uh, went back to Central State. Uh, Lamir, I know that we've known each other for a long time. Mm -hmm. And Chris and I, that's what we met. And we have a running joke. He knew he had a good thing when he met me. <laughs> so let me just say that. Okay. Right, right, right. I have a background in, um, well, engineering. Okay. So, but I've been doing um, IT for probably the last 20 years. So <laughs> we've been together over, what, 20 some years, 25 years? Wow. Yeah, 25 years. Um, and uh, this coming August, it would be, we'd be married 20 years. Wow. I am a one of three uh, African American women that got elected to city council here. Nice. Um, in Reynoldsburg. So. so so, to those points, let's untalk some of that a little bit. Now, when you're talking about serving uh, in a city council capacity, I mean, what is, I'm sure your days are not typical, but what's that like, uh, Seanette, from your side, you know, from the comings and goings? And Chris, what's that like from your side, from her comings and goings? How, how does that work with the household, with kids and lives and so forth? So right now, with the quarantine um, and everything with the uh, pandemic, uh, city council has been a little bit different. Uh, we are doing everything virtual because right now in our state, uh, uh, the uh, governor had put no more than 10 people in one um, area in mm -hmm. one time. Mm -hmm. And so we've been doing all our meetings virtually. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to call myself a politician, I started my journey helping other people get elected. Mm, okay. And um, someone saw something in me that mm. I didn't see in myself and decided, will not you think about running Shonette? And I wow. started getting a coalition, to, a coalition together and uh, we build a team. And uh, we are called the Women of Reynoldsburg. Okay. And that's how we end up winning, getting three, you know, the three first African American women elected into two. Uh, you know, city council. Mm -hmm. And so trying to balance that, um, being a servant to the community, mm -hmm. a wife, a mother, a friend, um, I mean, involved in other organizations, right, right. it could be a lot. Yeah, and man. Chris has really helped me along the way to try to help me balance that. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of times I'm big with the balance. I'm all about <laughs> her serving the community, mm -hmm. helping everyone. She, she works hard, she wakes up early, she goes real hard, you know, 
So a lot of times I'm coming around like, you need to break it. You look over. This is where this is our impasse. You know, you know, this is our meeting in the sand, if you will. <laughs> you know, I always tell them like, you know, you are a servant, but you cannot make yourself available all the time. Sure. You know, so I do really. I'm really, uh, that's really important to me. She might run a few things, you know, what do you think about, you know, X, Y, Z, something mm -hmm. that she can discuss with me. You know, I'm always going to give her my opinion. And, uh, you know, Shanette, you either use it or she won't. We was always kind of with the community. We started off working in with Little Leagues. Little okay. League, I was a coach. She was a team mom. So ever since our kids were small, we were always involved, you know, in the community, helping that way. When they became older, we kind of moved up with, as they were going. When they got to middle school, I became, I became a coach in the middle school. She became, you know, a team mom and kind of administrator for the team. And along the way, we developed strong relationships with a lot of the families and a lot of the kids that we coached and mentored along the way. They still call me coach. I've, I've been coached now for about five years. They still call me Coach Chris. Wait a minute. They call you coach? Uh -oh. They call me, let me just tell you, they call me team mom coach. Okay? Team mom coach? Oh, yeah. She may, so she let me may, just tell you. Let me just tell you. Them, she let makes them, them call it that. I'm team mom coach. Team mom coach, wow. Team mom coach is one that a team mom takes care of, just not the players. Okay. They take care of the coach, too. Okay. And also the house to call plays. So that's me. Wow, okay. Now we're on the offensive side or the defensive side? Oh, I know it all. Know it all? Wow. So I watch games and I try to get her, hey, what? Yeah, I'm not interested in that. Uh -huh. when, the kids, when the kids came on and started playing, now all of a sudden she's coached team. I'm sure, I'm sure. But she, she definitely, uh, her knowledge of it has picked up. So, yeah. I know my It's a good thing. Yeah, I know yeah. my game. And we're on with the Stricklands, both Chris and Shanette are both on with us. So I want to thank you all again for joining us. So obviously I want to unpack a, a lot of the things that you guys have been discussing, but I, I want to start with, Shana, you mentioned about a politician. You mentioned earlier that you're not a politician. Yes. Let's yes. unpack that a little bit. What does that mean? Because most people would consider you to be one. I'm sure there's I a know, story behind right? it. That's a little bit different, right? For mm -hmm. me, um, to be a politician, sometimes you have to make politician moves okay. uh, to really consider yourself a politician, okay. meaning that either you're making some slimy moves mm. or you are, as Chris and I like to call it, politicking. You may be trying to do something for me, and my definition is maybe some unethical things that I just wouldn't agree about. Sure. I always want to stay true to who I am. Mm -hmm. I never want to forget where I came from. Mm -hmm. The reason why I decided to run was to serve the people. And if I have someone that's around me that's not doing the right thing, who always want to call one side of mm. uh, Republican, de Democrats, I don't care who you are, mm -hmm. I will call it ace, ace, a spade, a spade. Sure. There are things that you may have to, tough decisions, as I like to call them, mm -hmm. that you may have to do as being a councilwoman. But believe it, I'm always going to do it in the best of my community and mm -hmm. the best of my neighbors. Mm -hmm. That's going to always be my number one reasoning behind any decision that I make. Mm -hmm. I understand that I'm not going to get along with all Republicans or all Democrats. Sure. I am here to do a job. People do things to get along. That has never been me. So that's when I say some people play that politician game. Mm -hmm. I never, again, want to forget where I came from and the reasons why I'm doing what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. The life I live is never about who I am, but those that I can help along the way. It has always been my motto, mm -hmm. and I never want to forget it. So that's what I mean. And Chris, you talked about something earlier that I wanted to, uh, to untalk as well, when you talked about balance, knowing that, you know, you have made and, and are continuing to make history as a family uh, in terms of being one of, you know, three African-American women to be in that role. And when you talk about balance, was it tough or is it tough trying to find balance knowing that you weren't in the political arena previously? So you didn't have experience to fall back on or you didn't have, and, and I don't know, you didn't have family members that kind of said, hey, here's the to time we're passing along to you. How did you find that balance? How did you get it? How do you know when you have it? 
an example about being in balance, you know, mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't want, I don't spend all my day doing one thing, you mm -hmm. know, um, you do have to take time when I'm saying I have to take time to, you know, to, to breathe or to address other things, mm -hmm. you know, and, and that's, that's all I mean by balance. Mm -hmm. um, also balancing as a person, you know, individually, you got to have time for play. You know, mm -hmm. you have, what I mean by play is just relaxing and decompressing mm -hmm. because if you stay wound up, you know, then you're, you're causing undue stress and you're, sure. and, you know, that, that takes a toll over time. Stress? It takes a toll over time yeah. on the body. And, and if you're not built like me, you know, if you don't have a body like me, you know, you might not be able to absorb all that stress. So I'm all about. If I had a sound know. effect, I would enter it right there and like. Rrr. Right. Thank you. <laughs> That's what it was saying. Rrr. Rrr. <laughs> thank you. I can talk and, you know, I like to at least have some type of intro or baseline knowledge of a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Now I find myself having to be in the arena with all the politicians that you guys may have seen on TV or that you may know now. You know, I'm in the room with her because of my wife. Now I'm in the room with these people as well. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I have to be balanced enough to have a conversation with them sure. on a baseline level. Balance is important, mm -hmm. Mr. Miyagi style. Right, right. <laughs> wax on and wax off. Chris is completely right. You know, I am very data driven. Give me the data, show me the driven. Um, he is more so on that Philly touchy stuff, you know, that is him. So that helps balance our relationship. Anything that we do, we have to be able to balance. I'm not just doing this for me. I'm not doing this just for a team stripping. Sure. I'm doing this for everyone. Mm -hmm. And so uh, again, it's one of those things that you build a, a you're, you're ha you have your base, your foundation there. Mm -hmm. And my foundation has always been my family. Mm -hmm. I never want to forget that, and Chris helps balance that for me. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I have an understanding, like, sometimes you just have to let things uh, develop naturally mm -hmm. in the course. There's only so much preparation and work for a thing that you can do at some time. Sometimes, sometimes it'll come right away, but there's certain things that you have to, all right, I've done everything I can do right now. Got to back off and let the way, let, you know, let the way open up mm -hmm. and, you know, let it be what it is. Yeah, it's funny. I'm proud of Shania because you remember how we were as freshmen mm -hmm. in college mm -hmm. 25 years ago. You know, sure. she, so I would give her this. She's one in the personal growth development over me throughout oh, the years. You have I don't want to say personal growth, but she's definitely changed. You know, she was not, she, like, she was kind of, she was uh, <laughs> very drawn in when I first met her. I want to say very, but. Introverted. She was introverted. Um, now, some of the stories they told me about how she was before I met her. We don't got to go into that. That <laughs> wasn't quite like that when I met her. I'm like, you wasn't that, that, you wasn't that square. square. You know, you start making seem like you was naive. Like, you wasn't that naive. Got you know. And yeah, we've got the Stricklands on, everyone. So I just wanted to again thank you guys for your time. And real quick, before we unpack a couple other things, I just need to get this out there. Because Chris, you said, talked about you being a competitor and playing sports. You got two boys. Uh, are your boys better than you were? You know what? This is this is funny. <laughs> uh oh, she she turned to you like I need to hear the answer myself. Okay, it, it's, yeah, this true. is kind of uh oh, yeah. it's kind of like the it's kind of like the Jordan LeBron conversations that all the kids are having now. You know, there, that that's really not a conversation, but I, like, I get no, it. It's kind of like that. Thank it, you. I will say this. Uh, uh oh, we're pretty even. My kids came. We're pretty even. <laughs> however, however, <laughs> my my. <laughs> Well, my sons have uh, they 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 get they got more postseason accolades than I do. We'll say that. We'll say that. Uh, now, when I do apples to apples, compare with with Sean, he was the receiver. Chris played D line, but I played running back, so I can kind of compare numbers with Sean. I'm like, okay, son, you had this many yards uh, your senior year. I had this many yards. Now, receivers and running backs are different, you know. I was like, I have more yards than you, but Sean can always come back like, well, I was all state, I was all district, I was all OC. Yeah, that, that means something. In. That, that uh, means right, something. Right. I can't say that. You know, so in my mind, I'm the GOAT. Um, Stat-wise, I'm saying, you know, it probably, you know. 
they kind of surpassed me stat wise. I'm gonna say that. <laughs> but in my eyes, I'm the goat. Will you at least tell us about what we've been hearing about the rumblings about some show uh, that's in the works for you guys? Is there any truth? Wait a minute. Oh, that was, yeah. Well, you know, the is my guy. We're always. Wait a minute. How? Yeah. How do you hear about that? Uh, well, we, we hear about God. things. We just we just need an answer. Is, is this some some stuff? <laughs> Did you want to announce it here? I'm going to give you some time yeah. to go ahead and announce yeah. the name of it. Give us the logo and the whole bio. Go ahead, break it down. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to confirm nor deny. I'm going to leave it there. I just said that. You guys pick that yeah. apart. Thank you for bringing it up. So there are some rumblings, and we are working on some things that, um, on the back end. It's just a little bit about who we are um, okay. as a family. It's given us a little more insight about who I am, uh, okay. the Strickland, Team Strickland, mm -hmm. and also about what goes on in the background of uh, being a councilwoman, mm -hmm. how are you uh, able to manage your lifestyle, being married, so it, it, it kind of give a little bit about that. I don't want to give you too much, sure. but so I'm surprised you heard about the Rama. So I, it must be out there a little bit. Uh -huh. but that's that's a little bit about what it is about. Um, but we so excited about the opportunity because there's nothing out there right now, um, out there on the uh, the media, social media. But I think this gives people a really an insight on, you know what it what what does it take to number one balance right mm. we talked a lot about balance mm -hmm. well thank you again all we have the stricklands on uh both chris and shawnette uh, and we want to thank you all for taking some time. Before we get you guys off, I'm not sure how much social media you guys do, how involved you are, but if you have anything that you want to shout out in terms of uh, rather hashtags or pages, if you want people to follow you, subscribe, whatever have you, I'll give you that opportunity to do so. Yes, you can always follow me on Seanette Strickland for City Council uh, Ward 1. Um, I, my page is out there. Uh, please uh, reach out to me. Um, also, you can reach me at the uh, Reynoldsburg City Council uh, website. Uh, my number is 929-430-6802. Uh, so I don't have anything that I want to shout out in that regard. Enough said. <laughs> All right. Well, I thank you guys again for the time. Appreciate you guys not only coming on, uh, but untalking a lot of the subjects, giving us a little bit about your background, uh, giving us the things that are in the works, uh, the political campaign that has officially not been kicked off, but since you're married to someone in that arena, it's probably going to kick off at some point in time. Uh, we appreciate all those things and you guys' this time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for having us, man. Back there looking like Donnie Simpson. Over there. <laughs> <laughs> My brother, man, I appreciate you. Yeah, you're welcome. We thank you, guys. It. Thank you. Thanks. Right.